because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming in and out of this train station. You can see it. Like, it's really incredible. But it means the industry is going to make a crap ton of money. And yeah, and all the commercial trucks. So these guys here. So, oh, they're actually going over there. That's really. What about you? That's a garbage truck. What about you? You're going that way. Hmm. I guess because it is it detecting the traffic? Does it take a, be aware of that? And there's a faster road because it's bigger. It might be prioritizing it. I'm not going to complain about going in that direction. Take a little bit of pressure off this uh, Myrtle Street here. But a roundabout, like I always said, this roundabout probably would not be... It's not. This is not a very high throughput area. Although it's still better than a lot of other intersections. Um, but as long as we didn't add too much stuff over here, this would never become too overloaded. It seems to be overloaded just enough. Just the right load. All the pollution on the pretty map makes me sad. Yeah, well, we're going to get rid of some of these things. There's still going to be some pollution there. We could plant some trees. So what kind of trees... Uh, wait, that's not the tree. Is it under here? That looks like the right kind of tree, or maybe the bigger ones. And then... Tree brush tool. I mean, I guess there's still a bunch of dead trees over here. Well, they're not dead, it's just hard to see them in the pollution. How's our actual garbage capacity here? Oh, we don't have enough incineration to take care of all of this. Problem is, you can't you can't make do without any pollution whatsoever. There's always going to be some from some things unless you mod it. Now, I did make a mod. I didn't put in a mod that turns the pollution from purple, which is stupid, to this brown. You can make it completely invisible. And honestly, if you do want to make a city that's just aesthetically pleasing, it's not a bad way to go. I mean, you can still tell that there's dirty industry here and there, but it's not as bothersome. The traffic here is a lot better. There's still a lot of traffic, but it's not being held up forever. Not a traffic jam here, which is good. Lots of industrial demand. I don't want to grow this area anymore, though. I think what we might do is do an industrial park over here. It's got rail access and everything. Very convenient. Time's it. Okay, 15 minutes left. And then I'm definitely going to send you guys over to a Kiss for Luck stream. Oh yeah, the road maintenance. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's relatively aligned. Ish. I'll try to do this one better than the last one here. comes out a little crooked, just too bad. So wherever we put the train station, we're going to be have to be aware that there's going to be a lot of traffic throughput there. Um, maybe, let's see here. I wonder if that's enough room. Yeah, it seems good. Something like that. Only to do the blimp thing, too. Blimp landing right there. And blimp lane. To 
here. And I guess, oh, I should do the, um, the blimp line right away. So just service the residential areas. We'll do the buses later. Do I want this to be more logging or more conventional industry? I think conventional industry is going to be fine. Not bad for just eyeballing. Not too much overlap. And power. Oh, really? Somehow that doesn't count as you having water? There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's get some bus. This is just a little too short. It might actually block some of the other things while one's waiting. I might have to redo this to be a scooch longer. Let me do that now. Because I think that might lead to a problem otherwise. Every now and again. Actually, just the straight line's probably fine. But yeah, go out that far. Gotta be enough room here for a train to sort of be parked waiting to come in here without blocking the main thingy. Trains don't back up if you loop tracks. Yeah! Oh, it still blocks that from here. Uh, that's not right. There. Probably get like, um,. Fire department out here? Seems like a good idea. With all these damn trees around, waiting to destroy all my beautiful, precious town. Choo choo! Yeah, so these guys are gonna have no problems delivering the goods. Um, they are gonna get workers via the blimps, and I mean cars as well. So, how backed up are the blimp places? It doesn't tell me how many people are currently waiting for service. But it's a lot. <laughs> Look at how many people are waiting here for these blimps. And the blimps are barely picking up anyone. Like, oh, not even a full load on this one. Uh, apparently they can line twice at once without waiting. Maybe I can just overload these lines. Got about 20 trains stuck in the deadlock once. That was fun to solve. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's... Really easy for things to go horribly wrong with trains in this game. Really easy. Incinerate all the things. More money, all the things. I think we're need metro lines. Just tell the residents to turn on their sprinklers to put out the fires. Force them to do it under threat of execution by the gallows. Jeez! <laughs> Ever played around with Transport Tycoon? Yeah, I love Transport Tycoon. No, I haven't done any videos for like... Oh, you need more water. Oh, you also need some garbage handling out here. Sounds like a good idea to throw that in there. There we go. Um... 
Uh, what was, oh yeah, I haven't done any videos for it, but yes, it's an excellent game. And Open TTD is an excellent uh, modern playable version of that. All right, water good, power good, city growing like crazy. Yeah, look at this place. Traffic, fine. Flowing very well over here, actually. Um, garbage problems. Mm -hmm. Are you empty yet? 1% full. I just want to get rid of these things. Be nice if there's an option to say, like, empty and then delete yourself. Come on! Empty! There's a crap ton of incinerators over here. You can do it. I know you can. There you are. Yay! Because now, although there's not any really a traffic problem anymore over here because of other things that we've done, but I'm going to go ahead and do that anyway. There you go. So again, sort of want to leave Silent Night Town a little bit more... Um, just mostly leave it alone. Leave it relatively low density like this. A little bit of a guard problem over there because it's quite far away. Power's pretty tight. Although if we build more incinerators, that'll generate some power. Tax money is huge. I mean, 6,000 per day? Week? Whatever that cycle is. Weekly income. That's pretty good income, considering we've only got 14,000 people in here. Da -da 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 -da. And congrats to the last round of winners for the City Skylines uh, key, the keys. Congratulations. You too can build cities that have horrible traffic jams. And oh my god, people dying! Dead person waiting for transport. Um, that's true. Did I ever... Oh yeah, I still don't have crematoriums. Cemetery usage is fine still. Okay, good. I don't want to overdo it on cemeteries because I'm waiting for the freaking... Um, well, that's really soon, isn't it? Is that 15,000? Oh, 15,000. We're right about there. Because I'm waiting for the crematoriums. So, some employee problems, right? Yeah, not enough workers. Just need more uneducated workers. There's demand for housing. We can probably expand this area. Like, now. Does now work for you? I mean, it's getting a little boring, making it straight like this. I think what I'm going to do right here... I want you to be straight. Like, no angle whatsoever. You look like a floppy dong. I don't want that. Nobody wants a floppy dong. Mm -hmm. I apologize to the moderators. <laughs> sure, I am not helping chat stay uh, stay reasonable, but you know that's that's normal. Yay, big city! I can be a little a little closer together here. Oh, you're actually not square. It's kind of annoying. Okay, I'm gonna set you up this way as a guide. But you know, I don't actually want you connected over here. High density residential. Well, okay. Place, but then. place and then paint some high density commercial in here I'm gonna leave those gaps there intentionally I have to do some office spaces at some point but I'm not convinced we have the educated populace for that actually 
We haven't put down a cottage. A cottage? Yes. A college or anything. Do, 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 do. I'm certain we're going to need more education. Yeah, need more primary education capacity. I'm going to get a couple of schools over here because there's really a lot of density going on. High school needs more capacity, so we're going to get a high school over here too. Then we'll run out of money. Fair enough. Having a roundabout here would have been okay, but I kind of like, I, I do like the angled road. I also like the animated donut, like squirrel donut. I'm not going to complain about power until things kick in, although um, I can help this along with some parks. I just like these, these so-called small parks. They're quite large, in fact. Um, no, I don't want that one after all because it's going to encroach on too many things on the other side. But. Embedding some sa fire services here would probably be a good idea. I don't know if we need more police. We'll see how it goes. Now, this is the only way in and out of this neighborhood. So, right now, because everyone's moving in, suddenly, this is like a million people arriving all at once here. So, there is going to be a traffic backlog. But, that's not forever. That being said, this is getting, like, significant enough that I think what we need is we'll need another sort of T-junction over here to feed in to this area. Probably. We should also probably bust line that. It is 2 p.m. It's about time for us to wrap this up. Where's the... I don't want to drag it. I want to make a new... I want to make a new one. Had... Urgh. Why is it like that sometimes? I mean, I guess I can just start it over here. That's fine. Oh! Some other route adjusted itself in some weird way. It's fine to, like, add the stop there. Just to, like, create a new line that's sometimes a bit annoying. Y'all have a lot of dead people around, so now let's put down some crematoriums. Oh, not enough money. Come on, give me money. Change the intersection to full intersection by the other industrial area. Hmm. I'll take a look at it in a second. I don't know what you mean. Come on. Click. 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 Give me money. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what? Over here? The full intersection to it. Wait. Sorry. Change the T intersection to a full intersection? Fire! Trees. Trees are evil. Uh, this might be a good time to take out a big giant loan. Maybe a couple of big giant loans. And put down a helicopter. Bam. Go, go, helicopters! You can do it! Oh, look. oh, yeah. So again, this is to be expected as everyone moves in simultaneously. This is not the sign of a permanent traffic problem. However, I do think we need another connection over here. It's actually quite impressive how quickly things flow through here. It's also the initial delivery truck to a lot of commercial areas that suddenly appeared. Pretty sure if we just left that go for 10 minutes, everything would be fine. Although, it is potentially getting a little bit worse, rather than improving. But I'm, I'm sure it's people moving into their new houses. And then hopefully after that, it's buses and blimps. 
So this could build a blimp stop over here too. That could be another thing. But we do need another highway entrance. Now, if this were upgraded to be a three-lane thing, they would use more lanes here. Although they would still, I think, eventually fill, um, just funnel into one regardless. But look at them go. The other thing this could be is this could be upgraded instead of a normal road. This could be done with on-ramps. They're single lane, but if you're only using one lane, um, the on-ramps are faster. People can drive much faster on them. I mean, they're still having to slow down to make these corners, but... It might help a little bit. Two lane, one way, in a roundabout, on and off ramp. I don't know what that means. Solar power plant, hey! Well, I don't think it's gotten any worse, but it's not getting any better. Uh, no, it's getting worse. Traffic slows down here so much, I'm waiting to make this corner. Use two lane, one way highway for the roundabout. Well, okay, they don't use two lanes though. Do they have a one way version of it? Because they've got the two way highway, but they go in each direction. Yeah, they don't have a two lane, one way. As far as I can tell. I think there's mods that add that in. And it doesn't matter, because they don't use the second lane anyway. Don't even need this bit, which is kind of funny. I guess people don't go from here to there. Oh, it's getting better. It's not uh, It's not past the uh, the power line anymore. But yeah. Okay, we got to wrap this up here, unfortunately. But I think the next thing I would do is put a T-intersection in here that joins up over here, and then continue to develop this neighborhood. I think that would be the next step. That and, like, some solar power plants or something. Or some nuclear power plants. <laughs> because mostly people are using the one lane to make the turn there. There's a little bit of a backlog over here, too, but... This might be a good spot for the bus lanes, though. Actually, probably is an exceptionally good example. I gotta stop. Like, I gotta end the stream here, but... Should almost certainly all have the bus lanes. Because we don't need truly six... I guess we're losing the trees is the downside. That's why there's some unhappiness. But we don't need all six lanes to drive in. Maybe I should have left some of those bits. I don't know. Right there. Now the, the buses don't get stuck in traffic. Apparently they have a pretty high priority for changing lanes, though. They just, like, forced their way through there. It was amazing. Look how many people. Like, we public transit is really getting used. Okay, how's the backlog? Oh, see, it's almost completely, it's getting eliminated. See, like I said, it's people moving in to all the new expansion. That's all that's going on. Um, they might need some some tra some garbage traffic. I think when we made the T-intersection here, I think I'd put a couple of incinerators. Okay, gotta go. I've gone over by seven minutes now. Uh, I'm going to be hosting uh, A Kiss for Luck. I'm going to be hanging out in her chat as well. I know she's playing some multiplayer Stellaris. I'm really eager to see how that's going. I'm going to wrap this up. Next live stream is going to be on Saturday. Stay tuned for announcement there. It, it may be a programming stream followed by some gaming. I don't know what game. I don't know if we're going to do the programming or not. I have to get organized. I'm still trying to catch up on my trip. Thanks for coming out, folks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.